And now the case is today in this court trial, uh, if you'll just listen closely and keep in mind what I'm trying to say, it won't be long. The case is the word of God's promise versus the world. Now, a case cannot be called unless it's for some cause. You have to present the case. In the case that's called in this courtroom this afternoon, I want you, everyone, I, I charge you to listen to the case. Now, the case is the word of God's promises versus the world. The case and the cause for the indictment is a breach of promise. Can you hear me all right? Raise up your hands if you're around everywhere now. You can hear. The, the indictment is a breach of promise. God made a promise and didn't stick to it. God's word made a promise. So uh, he's, being, he's being brought in for a court case. Breach of promise. Now, the prosecuting attorney always represents the state. If I understand the courts right. So the prosecuting attorney in this is representing the world. And the prosecuting attorney is Satan. He represents the world because the world belongs to him. And he's representing the world. And he is their prosecuting attorney. The defendant in this case is Almighty God. The defendant. And now the defendant always has a defense witness. And the defense witness in this case is the Holy Ghost. And now we're going to, and, uh, the prosecuting attorney also has some witnesses in the case, and I'm going to name them. And one of them is Mr. Unbeliever. The next one is Mr. Skeptic. And the next one is Mr. Impatient. These are the one that is trying to get judgment against God. Now, we have the, all the, the, Characters called in now, and we're in court, so we're going to call the court to order. All right, the order, order is the court is called to order, uh, to order, and the prosecuting attorney now is going to call his first witness to give witness, and his first witness to the stand is Mister Unbeliever, and his complaint is that God's word of promise is not altogether true. That's what his complaint is, the first witness is. He claims that he is a believer, though he isn't, but he claims he is. And he claims that he was standing here some time ago, a Holy Ghost so-called meeting, where the people were laying hands upon the people and giving their scriptural uh, Writes to do this, reading it out of Mark 16, where I've just read. They shall lay hands upon the sick, and they shall recover. Mr. Unbeliever testifies, and he says that I had the hands of this, what was called the Holy Ghost-filled preacher, lays hands upon me, according to Mark 16, the promise that God made. And the man said he was a believer, and many claimed to be healed. And he laid his hands up on me, and that's been two months ago, and nothing has happened. Therefore, the promise is not true. All right? We ask Mr. Unbeliever to step down. The prosecuting attorney, Satan, calls his next witness. Next witness stands up is Mr. Skeptic. Now, he testifies. He said, I went to a church. I was sick. And I went to a church that was supposed to have a godly pastor in it that had faith in God's word. And he had a, a little cruise of oil sitting up on his, uh, uh, on his desk. And all of his people had come in there that wanted to be prayed for. He anointed them with oil, reading the promise out of God's word in James 5, 14. Read the word and said, If there be any sick among you, let them call the elders of the church. Let them anoint them in oil and pray over them, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and God shall raise him up. If they did any sin, it shall be forgiven him. And now, he said, I had this pastor, who had heard testimonies from others, anoint me with oil, reading the scripture to me out of God's promise, and that has been over a month ago, and I'm still just as sick as I was when he anointed me. Therefore, that's his complaint. That Mr. Skeptic stepped down, and the prosecuting attorney, Satan, calls his, his next witness. His next witness is Mr. Impatient. That's a rascal. 
Hmm? Excuse that expression. See? He just makes you, gets you so nervous you don't know what you're doing. See? Mr. Impatient, he claims that he one day while reading the Bible, all these claim to be believers now, and they, he claims that he was reading the Bible and he come across the passage of Mark 11, 22 and 23, where Jesus himself made the promise that if you say to this mountain, be moved, and don't doubt in your heart, but believe that what you've said will come to pass, you can have what you have said. And again, he says, if you, when you pray, believe that you receive what you ask for. Now, he says, I have been a, a crippled in my feet, lame in my feet, for some 30 years. And I accepted that promise five years ago, and nothing has happened since. I'm still just as crippled as I ever was. Now, now the process, then he steps down. 